KCI 8 Sports, powered by Fairway. What a crazy fun night at the Boys State Basketball Tournament. Really a full day of action with seven games from Class 2A all the way up through 4A. The last game of the night came down to the final seconds. Waukee and Johnston, two CIML rivals, after being cooped up all day, finally got to get going in the evening. Four or eight quarters, and this is how it started into the first quarter. Jax Rittman for Waukee hits a three. Warriors up three, but Boston Grimes going the other way from 50 feet, banks it in. We're tied at 15. The lead never got more than five points either way. Nathan Johnson flying above the rim for the jam and the foul. Waukee led 25-24. Into the break, fourth quarter, Waukee is up six. Noah Hart goes high off the glass and in. And he drew a foul, 44-35, Waukee. Johnson just kept right on shooting. Bo Sanquist from way out there. Dragons only down three, 20 seconds to go. The Waukee would hang on, 60-58. to It's the first Warrior win ever at the state tournament. We knew it was going to be a tough one, a battle. They shoot the ball so well. Uh, we were fortunate they missed some looks and you know we made some key plays at some key times. They're never out of it, you know. We know they're a good shooting team, so we always had to keep the pedal on, on the gas. So, uh, we, did, we didn't want to let up or give them any space. So. A game that Hawkeye fans were certainly interested in. Number 21 is Joe Wieskamp. He'll be a Hawk next year. 22 in the white, Patrick McCaffrey. A Hawk in two years. Head-to-head -to -head tonight as Muscatine played Iowa City West. Wieskamp just driving, drawing contact, and Sticking with it, getting the bucket inside. He had 29 points on the night, but West built a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Here's McCaffrey, what makes him dangerous. He's 6'8", and he's got guard moves. 17 points for the game. Iowa City West wins 62-50. Hawk fans can look forward to black and gold jerseys on those guys in the next two years. Speaking of great players in this state, Xavier Foster, the top sophomore in the state. Oskaloosa, ready to make a run of the title in Class 3A. We pick it up with Oski firing from long range, taking on Sergeant Bluff Luton. They were down 10 in the first half, but they gave him a strong in the third quarter. Tanner to Cook with a three, then Spencer Tucker with another three, and Oski led 35-32. The Indians had nine triples for the game, including four from Foster. He had a dunk there, 18 points for the big fella. Oski pulls away to win 63-47. They move on to the 3A semifinal. Norwalk and Glenwood, the two top scoring teams in 3A. Warriors lighting up the scoreboard early. Luke Baskey with the three. Norwalk is up 14 to three. Second quarter, Baskey to Daniel Geisler. Warriors up 30 to 12. They were up 18 at the break, but in the second half, a completely different game. Glenwood made a huge run. Ryan Blum caps it with a three. Glenwood comes all the way back to take the lead, 52-51, five minutes to go. Norwalk really unable to get anything to fall, and Glenwood would pull away, outscoring Norwalk 45-18 in the second half. The Rams shot the Warriors 67-58. They were really aggressive and they were out guarding us and just the crowd and everything and just when you lose 18 point lead and starting to get down you just start to panic and definitely we just, we just lost it. Second half we came out and um, give a lot of credit to Glenwood. They, uh, they executed what they needed to do. Um, it's kind of de it was whichever team was playing better defense. And down to class 2A the first game of the day Van Meter. The Bulldogs taking on Cascade and Van Meter had a slow start. Just five points in the opening quarter but they don't back down. They keep fighting. Zach Trudeau going to get one to finally break the ice. It was 24 to 11. Van Meter cut that lead down to seven points at halftime. Into the third, J.J. Dufflinger for three. Bulldogs all the way back to within 39-37, but they could never quite get over the hump. Cascade just kept hitting shots down the stretch. Van Meter knocked out in the quarters for the second straight year, 60 to 47. You know, they were hitting everything. Our defense wasn't maybe as, as aggressive or intense as it needed to be. You know, we didn't close out well on some shooters, um, and they got confident. You know, once once a team gets confident, they can really start to roll, and that's what they did. You know, crowd's behind us. They're cheering real loud, and we're making shots. They're missing shots. We're going to run here, but I don't know. We had a lot of things going our way there, but like things to do, they kind of balanced out, I guess, and I don't know. They just they played better. And the quarterfinals wrap up tomorrow in Class 4A with the Valley Tigers facing North Scott 10.30 a.m. followed by Cedar Falls and Sioux City East. Then we're into semis. 
Starting with 1A, Grandview Christian, the defending champions, trying to get back to the title game. They'll face Remsen St. Mary's at 345 after North Lynn and Don Bosco. The evening session, trainer against Applington Parkersburg and then Sheldon and Cascade in 2A semifinal action. Plus, tomorrow, the Big 12 tournament starts in Kansas City. We're headed down there. Be live outside the Sprint Center. Iowa State plays Texas. Tip time.